So we have our Ophelex system. This is our fluid management system for our hysteroscopies. The top part, the Ophelex, is for fluid management only. The bottom part is the monosure, which we would do if the surgeon was doing a polypectomy. So we're going to focus mostly on the fluid management system. We um, have our two, we have two tubings to do this procedure. You have an inflow and an outflow tubing. The inflow, sorry, the outflow tubing, the yellow piece will get connected to a bag that will go under the butt. And the white part will get thrown off eventually, but I'll show you that. Um, so let's hook up the inflow tubing. This is the inflow tubing. It has two ports to go into the saline, and also the blue part goes into the actual scope. So we're going to hook up. Make sure you clamp them before you hook them up. This part would be hooked up into the scope, into the inflow. You're going to see an arrow. There's an, also an arrow on the machine. So you're going to match up the arrows and just point it in the right direction. And then you're going to pull it around and secure it. We're going to take from the outflow tubing, this, the scrub will throw off the white piece. And the white end is going to go to the patient, patient port. Okay? These two ends are connected to the scope, and they'll, the scope will show you directly which one's in full and which one's out well. On the bottom here, we have four canisters. The right side is fluid management only. The left side, you only need to worry about if you're doing a polypectomy. Make sure there's, you're gonna see tandem, it says tandem. Make sure these two pieces of the tubing are tandem to tandem. The middle and the back, the vacuum port, will be connected to the suction in the back of the top of the machine. And these should be secured. Make sure these are tight. And then the light goes up to the, under the butt drain. Once you have everything connected, you can um, open up the fluid and then press prime. And it'll prime, and I'll tell you when calibration is complete. Once it says calibration complete, you can pause it and then make sure you zero it out before starting the procedure. If you do end up doing a polypectomy, you would be using the myosher on the bottom, and these two canisters are only for the myosher. You have to make sure you have a sock here. Again, make sure it's tandem to tandem, front to back. The patient port is closed, the vacuum port is closed, and all you have to do the, um, is connect your suction that comes from the Myosure device onto the this. This will collect your polyps and you can send that for specimen for polyps. At the end of the procedure, make sure you record your deficit. Uh, for saline, you, for a polypectomy, you can use saline. You do not need to use glycine when you resect a polyp with the Myosure device as we used with our previous striker. So saline is fine for both procedures. Um, and 